Have you been trying to manifest something amazing in your life and you're growing frustrated? Maybe you're struggling to see synchronicities or get any sort of validation from the universe. Today's video is going to discuss how to improve your environment and in turn improving your mood. Remember that your consistent feelings are directly related to how quickly you align and essentially manifest something. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. My name is Joanna and I help to motivate and inspire you to recognize what your subconscious mind already knows. While you're here, go ahead and click that subscribe button as it really does help my channel to reach more amazing people like you. Be sure to stick around to the end where you will see my many, many faux pas. I'm excited to share today's video as this is a topic that I researched relentlessly when I first started deliberately creating with the Law of Attraction. It's completely understandable that we all want the best tools at our disposal to reach the success that we desire. A heads up that I will leave affiliate links down below if any of these items pique your interest. The first item that I have that uh, I find vital in my manifestation process is my journal. Journals are a great tool for writing your affirmations in and also to script your desires. There's no special quality that a journal should have, it just has to feel right for you. It has to match your style and your personality. This one is highly personal and I cringed for the longest time at the thought of sharing my vision board with you guys. Please don't judge, we are all a Law of Attraction family here and we all have our own desires. This is probably the most powerful and the most popular tool when it comes to manifesting your desires. I think even Oprah has YouTube videos discussing this. Now it certainly doesn't have to be this elaborate board that I have. It can certainly be um, just pictures on the wall. Uh, you could put some pictures on some foam board or if you're more of a private person, you can put pictures and photos of your desires in your phone or in your computer. The point is though, is that this is something that you should see daily and often. If you're trying to manifest a car, for example, you should have pictures of that car everywhere. You should have pictures of it in your phone, in your computer, on your walls, in your wallet. By having these constant visuals everywhere, we're engaging our subconscious mind that this car belongs in our life. What happens next is really cool. You'll start to see this car everywhere in your day-to-day -day life. This is a sign from God that he has heard your request and he is showing you your car as acknowledgement. This, my friends, is called a synchronicity. And anytime you see the object of your desire, be thankful. Thank the universe for acknowledging your desires and for it showing to you and be excited that it's coming. The next tool during the manifestation process is candles. Candles just make us feel good. Various aromas can be nostalgic and uplifting, and some are even known to destroy negative energy. Candles can be utilized while saying your affirmations and while meditating. Another tool that can be utilized during your manifestation process is a Himalayan salt lamp. Besides the calming ambiance of a Himalayan salt lamp, there's various benefits from boosting your mood to helping you sleep. They've also been known to eradicate electromagnetic pulses from our electronics. The fifth tool that can help you during your manifestation process are plants. Having greenery around you is a mood boosting phenomenon. I personally have a bonsai tree, a couple of money plants, an orchid, and a couple others that I can't pronounce. But they fill my environment with life, they purify the air, and they reduce stress. So as my manifestation goal regards financial abundance, I have a few items that are specific to this type of desire. This is my little Wall Street bull. I call him Frank. He sits in front of my computer all day and he makes me smile. This particular statue um, is solid bronze and it's really heavy for its size. So the reason for me having that little bull is that I've been dabbling in the stock market and I'm working on my passive income. Another item I have is this 24 karat gold leafed commemorative million dollar bill. Pictures of this really don't do it justice. 
this is just a beautiful commemorative banknote that helps in visualizing my millions. And this is a fire resistant waterproof document bag. Um, I keep our passports and my affirmations and some cash in here. Um, I just feel it just gives my affirmations a little boost. Whatever makes you feel good, right? Um, because that's what it's all about. It's all about feeling good. Like attracts like, baby. And lastly, your brain. I know, cue the eye roll. But seriously, if your mind is not in a positive place, then you're putting up mental blocks and you're just trying to force a manifestation to happen. If this is you, do yourself a favor and just take a break. See what I did there? <laughs> I'm so dorky. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, you can also come say hi to me at Willow J. Co. on Facebook and Instagram. The links will be down below. And much love, good vibes, and choose to be happy. Peace. I feel like this is something. Ah, uh, nope. You too, no. <laughs> Clicker, no. Hang, no. This. <coughs> Simulayan shop lamp. <laughs> um, no. Increased something. <laughs> um, and uh, the fifth. No. But they help and fill. No. <laughs> something. Trust you, camera. Or let. Regards. Fire. <laughs> no. Just have to quit. All right. All right. All right. Something. Go ahead. No. Could be. Huh. I got that right. Wow. I'm on a roll today. <laughs>